The more plastic surgery equals more followers and equals more people coming to my DJing gigs. Can you start from when you left us? Okay. What's been happening? I, I actually wrote a list if it's... <laughs> Since you left, you have a list? Yeah. Wow. I have invented some shit here. It's deep. Are you ready? <laughs> it's deep. Yeah. First of all, I went straight to have an eyelash transplant. All right. But it, it's a not a hair transplant like other hair transplants. It's a... I took it from... Pubic from area. Here. <laughs> yes. yes. Because I have no hair other, like, in those places. And this is, you know, it's not dark. You took pubic hair for I'm the only eyelash. one in the world who did. ever do that? Yes. Pubic hair eyelash transplant. That's a new one. Do you still have to curl them? Some years ago, I learned that you can change your eye color by laser. It was experimental, but I decided to do it anyway. I wanted to have purple eyes like elves, but I ended up dark gray, and I didn't like it at all. The main thing I wanted to change was my nose. When I saw the doctor for the first time, I told her that I wanted to have a nose that doesn't look human at all, a small and pointy nose. I did my nose surgery and my jaw liposuction at the same time. I want to see Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubrow because they are perfect to fix the things that I have done to my face. I want my nose to be smaller, my jaw to be smaller and more symmetric. I want to fulfill my dreams and reach my goals. I'm not elfing around with being an elf. You've had plastic surgery procedures in order that it maximize your ability to do the cosplay kind of thing or? Yes. My first surgery was when I was 18. How much did you put in the first time? 850. Your first in, in, operation in 18 was 850? An 18-year-old with 850 cc's in each yes. breast? Yes. Wow. Breast implants alone in an 18-year-old is pretty controversial. Putting 850 cc implants in is downright wrong. My second surgery, one of the first things he did was close up the breast muscle on right. the side, and I got 2,000 cc's. Wait, 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 whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. She had a complication from putting large implants in her first operation, and then she went on to have even larger implants put in? That is so not a good idea. My reason for contacting you is because I was looking for a surgeon to help me in my quest to rebuild and modify my body. So um, I've come up with some new plans for quadricep implants, calf implants, and lat implants. You devised these? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I did them myself. I've never seen anybody design their own plastic surgery like that. I studied up on the body and made the sketches and found a doctor that was willing to kind of let me do my own thing. And I told him, I don't want you to be creative. Just put them where I tell you. So my idea with, with my quad implants was going to be that this piece, so it'd be one piece, so it'd be subfascial, so we don't have to go submuscular. He's both Frankenstein and Dr. Frankenstein. He's his own creation. When I was a child, I just wanted to be a performer. So when I was 16, I decided to be a fire performer. No one tried this at home, right? So I had a few drinks and then I put barbecue fluid or something um, in my mouth and then I spat it out with a stick of fire and literally blew and ran. I think being a performer does make you a bit more conscious about your appearance. And when you're on a stage, everyone is just focused on, like, you. you. don't want to look like the ugly one. So I decided I need to revamp myself, definitely. And so I had closed nose surgery and I had my breasts done. When I woke up, I looked at my boobs and they were nice for natural-looking boobs. But when I looked at my nose, there wasn't much difference. It wasn't the tiny nose I'd wanted. So I had my second nose job. Three years later, I decided to get my boobs done again. When I went for my consultation with him, he looked at my nose and he said, your nose has collapsed, in that accent. So he'd offered me a revision. Well, I thought, mm, it is for free and he can't go wrong and do it wrong three times in a row. Surely he can do it right this time. He said he'd had to take some of my rib and put into my nose. Well, that was a bit stupid because now I have the sausage rib that sticks out out my nose. The worst nose ever, and I hate it.